Hi everyone. Welcome to the Think Speak series of videos. This is Bhupendra Singh and today I will tell you how you can send DST11 sensor data to the Think Speak cloud server. So we need the following components to make this project. Node MCU or Netify Wi-Fi module, DST11 sensor, three female to female connecting wires. This is circuit diagram of DST11 connections with node MCU or Notify Wi-Fi development board. So this is the DST11 sensor that provides the relational humidity and temperature of the atmosphere. It has three pins. The first one is VCC, middle one is data and the last one is ground. This is Notify Wi-Fi development board. Yeah, this board is designed by Nutty Engineer Company. You can also contact them for your customization. You can use Node MCU. Connection will be the same. So now connect the DST sensor with the Wi-Fi board. Take three female to female wires and connect the VCC pin of DST sensor to 5 volt or V in pin of the Node MCU, ground to ground and data pin to D2 number pin of Notify or Node MCU. Our connections have been done. Now it's time to log in to the Thingspeak server. Open the web browser and open the thingspeak.com website. Here you will get the option to log in to your account. If you already have an account, then log in to your Thingspeak account. Otherwise, you can create the new account by clicking on create one here. You will get the verification mail from MathWorks if you created a new account. Now you can create your new channel here. You can also find the channel in the channels tab. Click on the new channel. Write here the name as DST sensor data. Select the two fields here. Write the field one as humidity and field two as temperature. Scroll to the last. Here click on the show status and click on save channel button. So our channel has been created. You can see your channel that you have created for the DST sensor. In the public view, you can display your channel to everyone. You can enable the public view by using the share tab. In the sharing tab, click on the share channel view with everyone option. You can find your API key to read and write data in the API keys tab. To post the data in the Thingspeak server, you need only the write API key. Okay. Now time for the programming code. Go to the video description to find the link for the programming code. This link will redirect you to my GitHub code. Copy this code and paste it to your new sketch of Arduino IDE. So this is the complete program. First, we need to save this program. Go to the file tab and click on the save. Choose the location where you want to save the program like in the desktop. Write the name as DST11 Thingspeak and click on save button. Our program has been saved. We need to add the DST sensor library in the programming code. So click on the sketch tab and in the improve library, click on the manage libraries. It will take little time to download the list of all the latest libraries for the Arduino. Search here DST. Scroll below and you will find the DST sensor library by Adafruit. So click the install button. You will get three options but you need to click on install all button to install the DST sensor library with supportive libraries. Right? This will install the DST sensor library in the Arduino IDE that will support our program. Once installation is done, 
click on close at the top of the programming code i have defined the esp8266 wi-fi header and below the dst sensor header here in the api string type you need to write the right api key of your thing speak channel you will find the right api key in the api key tab of your channel like this you need to copy paste it to the program below you need to write the wi-fi name in which you want to connect your node mcu board and below you need to write the password of that wi-fi now i have defined the thing speak server address here i have defined the wi-fi client and the dst variable in which i have passed the d2 and dst sensor type as dst11 if you are using dst21 or dst22 sensor then you need to change it here i have taken hum and temp as float variable to store the humidity and temperature that we are going to fetch from the dst sensor no requirement of this variable in the setup function i have begun the serial monitor at 9600 baud rate and then begin the dst sensor i begin the wi-fi with the ssid and password that we defined at the top of the program so that it will connect with the wi-fi or hotspot while it will not connect to the wi-fi it will print the dot symbol in the serial monitor once it's connected to the wi-fi it will print the message wi-fi connected to the serial monitor in the loop function we call the dst data function in which i have read the humidity and temperature from the dst sensor we have defined this function below in the programming code and if our board is connected to the thing speak server then we will call the forward to thing speak function in which we have written the command to send data to the thing speak server we also define this function below in the code once we post all the data to the thing speak server we stop the client using this command here is the dst data function inside we read the humidity and temperature and store it in the hum and temp variable and in the forward to thing speak function we define the string as post str and call the api key that we have defined at the top of this program then we add the field one and then humidity after it field two and then temperature if you want to add more data for other sensor then you need to define all in the same pattern right so we have now complete string with api key then field one and field two with data then these are the complete commands to send the data to the thing speak server remember guys this is essential while you are sending the data to any cloud then first send the total length of the string that we are going to post to the server like this after it we send out data through post str i have also serially printed all the data so that you can see the data in the serial monitor so this is our complete program now connect your node mcu board to the computer change your program credentials like write api key wi-fi name and password select your wi-fi board go to the tools tab in the board section select the board as node mcu 1.0 esp 12e module for this node mcu board must be installed in the arduino ide if you don't know about it or have not installed it then a link is available in the video description to guide you how to install you also need to select the port go to the tools tab in the arduino id in the port section select the port as com5 if you don't know or don't find the com port then the link is available in the video description that will guide you how to install and troubleshoot the com port 
Now click on the upload button to write the program to the Node MCU board. It will take little time to upload the program. As you can see, the program has been uploaded to my Wi-Fi port. Now, time for the live demo. Open the serial monitor and also the private or public view of your Thingispeak channel. Still, there is no data in the field 1 and field 2. But our board is pushing data to the Thingispeak. You can see in the serial monitor. And yes, we have got one data as you can see here. Humidity is 37 and temperature is 30.7 in my room. Actually, the room heater is hitting my room, so the temperature is high. There is 15 to 20 second latency in the Thingispeak server to display the data once. Means you will get your data in the Thingispeak server in every 15 to 20 second only. And you can't do it fast in any way. So again, we will wait for the next data. As you can see, we got another data in the fields. You can also verify the data with a serial monitor. We also got the our third data in the field. You can see all the data in your Thingispeak channel. You can also download the data in the CSV format so that you can utilize the live data in your research. So click on the data, import, export. Below you will find the export option. So click on the download button to download the recent data of your channel. As you can see, the data file has been downloaded. Click to open it. You can see it's opened with the Excel document. You can see all the data of field 1 and field 2 with date and time. So guys, this is how you can post any data to Thingispeak like I do in the video. You can also see the Thingispeak data to the mobile app by downloading the third party app named thing view you can see my old video for this link is available in the video description if you want any kind of help in your board customization or in your projects so thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and videos stay connected for more innovation